Now, the irony is not lost on me that I am doing a video about audio content. This, I, don't have a, I don't have a show. I have so many shows, right? I couldn't give a show <clears throat> this could fit on. It's very general slash specific. So I decided to do just a video on this. Hello. And it's live right now. If you're watching it later, it was live. And anybody can come in, but I'm, this is what I'm talking about. So we'll get started. Um, so I do a lot of, I do video and audio content, right? So I'm here doing a video. I have videos here on JLJ Media. Now for most of my video, almost all my video content is after shows, um, interviews, mostly, as opposed to what you are. Not any kind of stage content. Ooh, birds are loud. Um, I just thought outside the garden too. Oh. Okay, I don't like that sound. Um, so anyway, so I do I do all this, I do this content. So that's usually interviews or after shows. I took the, I took the after bus TV model and I put them on audio and video. So it's an audio podcast and video. I have some things that are just video. I have a few things that are just audio. Um, and I have varying degrees of success on either. Whatever. Now, I've been getting these questions recently. I'm like, why don't you do, uh, you know, video web series? Why don't you do films? Why don't you do blah, blah, blah? So I'm going to explain why I don't and why I'm not at the moment. One day, maybe, never say never, but at the moment, we'll talk to you. Um, because I have a lot of audio dramas and I have a lot of audio content. Uh mostly that's more for audio dramas because they're all like mini plays and mini shows, but just audio. So I like video. I have one vlog series called the Really Quick James Lodge Your Show, and it's really short. I do that. New episode out today, actually, as I'm recording this. Um, that's fun. That's the only one I have that's kind of like that. Um, that's a that's like a series, but I have no scripted series. So here's the deal why I don't. One thing, films are not my passion. I don't, this is my passion. Yeah, I mean, I'll do a film one day, but it's not my passion. A lot of it goes into a film. A lot goes into filmmaking. Um, that's not, I like series. I like one-offs. I like, that's what I like. So do a film just as I just be whatsoever. And there are people who do it, who do it way better than I do, who do, do a great job. And there is, I have friends who do that. That's fine. I'm a TV kind of person, TV streaming kind of person, um, podcast kind of person. So why, you know, when you do video and you do films where they're short, large, in between, whatever, TV series, all that. And I'm a producer on a TV series, but I'm just one of many producers on the series. It's, it can be expensive. A lot of times you're going into it already at a deficit, money-wise. So you try, so later you have to make that money back or at least break even. That's where you don't have to, you know, when you do films or TV shows, you have to worry about locations, where to film, traffic, money, um, to get to get all this stuff, everything from craft services to lighting and all that kind of stuff. No COVID to worry about because now we have COVID protocols when you're together, you get to have a safety officer and there's sort of things you can only do. Also, you have to get insurance to make sure everybody feels like it's hurt. On your premises, on your during your production, you can pay for it. It's a lot of stuff that goes on. But just even just to film with something small, a lot that goes on. Let's just grab your friends and do it. I'm not. That's not. It's an interesting me whatsoever. Not at all. Audio. I do all the time. Do not sleep on audio. Audio is growing by leaps and bounds. Parts of it are uncharted, untethered territory. Un, untethered is the word. Uncharted territory. So we can say. Uh, it's vast and it's open um, and includes music, sound, includes plays, um, series, includes podcasts, audiobooks, um, all this stuff. Audible is all starting to get bigger and bigger. People are having not wanting to sit in front of a TV and watch something or their phone or a tablet. They, a lot of times they're doing several things, but they want to hear it. Like lay back, relax. It's on the couch with a glass of wine or some tea or coffee. And just listen. Go out to the gym. So let's to the gym. Before it was always music. Now it's podcasts. Now the podcast is audio drums. 
or audiobooks. Uh, planes, flying on planes, going on trains, on buses. If the audio world is growing, it's like it's a dope count. Like, like radio has always been there. People want to count radio. Radio's still there, folks. Who's this radio? But podcasting is bigger and bigger. It's still there. But this whole new frontier that I joined a few years ago, just a few years ago, um, I'm already kind of leading in many ways. I think I will, I would venture to say, and somebody else can correct me, if they find this not correct me, I have the most audio content in terms of audio dramas and comedies in one network. But we have like 15 or 16 right now, more to come. So I think I have the most, I think. Uh, but somebody can correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. Um, I produced a lot of content. And now others have since come up, like Tomorrow's a New Day for my friends at Queers and Stoves. Of course, Forever Day, of course, was started off for us. They have their own channel now. Um, Broadway uh, World is doing their own audio dramas, some famous people. There's a new category, there's new categories at the Independent Spirit Awards, Series Awards, me, Independent Series Awards that are due to audio. Small right now, but it could grow. The Emmys from about audio content. It's very interesting. Video, there's so many choices for video. It's a huge, it's already an already oversaturated market. It's great. And it's fine. You get a good series. It's great. There's so much. On audio, there's a lot out there too, but it's not as much as video. Also, there are people who, if you're thinking, well, can I make money or whatever? I know a lot of folks who, a lot of people you might know too, who are in movies and TV shows. They don't make a lot of money doing that. I actually make money doing animation, voiceover, commercials, anime, audiobooks. They're making money that way, actually. And in certain fandoms, becoming stars. I watched this thing about some of my friends who voice Batman and Superman and certain certain ones. People know the voices. They know who's doing behind them. Um, it's a big world where you're like this big fish in this in this pond. You know, you just, you're like so you can be a, treat like a celebrity at Comic Cons and different cons and <clears throat> I have brought on Felice Sampler, she's dressed in peace, and a wonderful actress who, in the 80s, was on Days of Our Lives, had some hit, you know, time on there. But everybody I know is like, she voices blah, blah, from blah, blah. She voices this and that. That's where it's at. I used to do corporate commercials. I used to fly around the country, especially in Chicago. A company would fly me out, pay for everything, pay for my time in Chicago. And I record trading videos and commercials and this, and made lots of money off of it. My voice. It's a whole other world. It's really, it's a whole other world. So there's that too. Um, and it's just, it's, it's fun. It's something really fun. And so for me, it's easier for me. You're at home and the, the privacy of your own space. You can be relaxed. We get together. My stuff's short. So we get together for an hour. We record one or two episodes at each time. It's faster for me because I'm, I'm an assembly line kind of guy. It's faster. There's no overhead, nothing. I get you get your work, you go. And not a lot of time for you either. And you get to play parts that you may maybe never got a chance to play before. With people who are fun. We have no egos, we have a good time, we help each other out. And it's just, you know, it's just sit and track for two hours, try to make it there, go through 10,000 checks and COVID tests. It's really audio is where it's at. And it's it's I think, you know, people always make, you know, they feel like it's like, what is this thing? They don't know it. But it's something. So that's why I do more audio. I want to go. That's my passion. My voice, voices are my passion. I want to do more in that space. I want to be the king of the audio drama and audio comedy. I want to be, I want to rule the world doing these. That's where I'm at. So I know folks out there, some of you folks out there want to be seen, I guess. That's all thing. You can be seen to have a hit. I guess for me, I don't care. Long as the hits come, I can make some money and and get and get steady work. I know, I'm happy. That's, that's me. Uh, but you could do both, of course, too. But I just say it's just one of those things where I'm like, no, nah, I don't care. This is good. I, I get to play roles I've never played before um, on an audio, and it's just easier. So, anyway, that's that's my take on this. This is why I do that. But I have some video stuff. And maybe one day I'll do more video one day. But for me, audio is where it's at, and it's a new frontier, and that's where I'm at. So, anybody ask me that question again, I'll say, watch this video. I'll tell you exactly what I'm, what I'm talking about. I'm James Ajini here at JLJ Media. And so all my audio dramas and audio content are across all the audio platforms, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google, Apple, Deezer, Stitcher, they're everywhere. Usually you find a name or show like Mr. Road or Cupid's Crossing or Easter Hair. Just find it, 
wherever you find your podcast. Uh, or type in JLJ Media and stuff pops up. But if you listen to my video stuff, you can also watch it too. Well, now I'm getting off. Oh, man, I'm actually getting off. I, I did my show. I just wanted to tell people what's going on. Um, and I will see everybody next time. So go to the audio world.